Hello again, Pietro here. Good afternoon. So, a little uh, different, not in the studio, traveling today. I found some great news out about Spotify, and Spotify finally enabled the ability to put music onto your Apple Watch. So let me show you in five easy steps how you can put music onto your Apple Watch using Spotify instead of being forced to use that proprietary app called iTunes Music. Here we go, ready? So I'm charging my Apple Watch. All right, this is super easy. Step number one, you connect your Apple Watch to your iPhone, which you should have already done. And if you did that correctly, ah, oh, darn passcode, hang on. And if you did that correctly, when you click on the crown, you should see the Spotify app right there. Excellent, so that's step number one. Step number two, open the Spotify app on your iPhone. Make sure your app is up to date. So I've already done that. If you don't know how to update your app, well, pithy comment down below and I'll create a new video. So now we're in Spotify, awesome. Step number three, browse your 17 different playlists. Step number three, browse your 17 different playlists. Step number four, open the playlist. So there I go to my library and I wanna synchronize uh, Dormire Martedì. So that's Italian for Tuesday night. So yeah. So this is the playlist that I want to push from Spotify and I want to save it on my iPhone. So we've opened the playlist. Number step number five, open the title. You'll see horizontal dots. So there's the title. There's the horizontal dots. And you see add songs, download music, download Apple Watch, and that's it. It's really six steps technically, but it's really five because now that you're there, you just click download Apple Watch, click. And then it says to check the progress of your download, visit download section on your Apple Watch. So now we open up the Apple Watch after you type in the freaking password, open up Spotify, and then if you swipe back, you don't see anything. There it is, downloads. Dormire Martiri, one of three downloading. And then I also have Dorma 2021. Oh, there we go, two of three. Now, if you're on LTE, I tried this while I was on a shuttle today and it took four. I highly recommend that you connect to Wi-Fi first or you just have a 5G signal. Otherwise, you're just gonna like drive you crazy. Oh, like typing in the password 20 times. So now we can click the side button, go back to Spotify. Boom, three songs, just like that. So now we'll try a longer one so you can see how quickly this is. Okay, ah, here we go, Harry Connick Jr. So how many songs is that? It should tell us, right? Three hours and 26 minutes. How many songs? Do, 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 add to queue, about recommendation. Okay, let's pick another one. Soak, ah, here we go. That's a good album. So this is the Soak album by one of my favorite artists, Lift Operator. They're awesome, he's awesome. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 songs. So again, you open the playlist, click on the three dots, and then right there at the top, download Apple Watch, Gives you a little thing, da da da, check on your Apple Watch, awesome. And then right on your Apple Watch, you can open up Spotify. And depending on where you are, you wanna swipe to the far left, scroll all the way to the top, click on downloads, and there's your status. And then as soon as that's done downloading, you can take your Apple Watch off your charger and go for a run. So there you go, um, I hope that helped and I hope that answered some questions. Uh, I have been waiting <laughs> for this update for, oh, I don't know, five years. Previous to just a week ago, Apple was forcing everyone to pay for Apple Music. That was the only way you could get music to stay on your Apple Watch. The other option is 
you have to have the LTE Apple Watch and then you have to stream music and, and when you're running, you just want to have your music. You don't want to have to worry about, oh, I don't have a cell connection. Yeah, you just want to have the music and run and now you can do that whether you have LTE or not. And the other cool thing is there's a lot of storage on the Apple Watch. Let me show you how to check the storage real quickly. So you open up your Apple Watch, you want to go to settings. Whoops, not that one. Settings. And then you want to go to general, about. And then scroll on down. There we go. Capacity. So this one is a 26 gigabyte model, and I have 21 gigs left. And I've already synchronized uh, over 100 songs. So I have hundreds and hundreds of songs left. This is the Apple Watch. 6 LTE version 44 millimeter. So as far as I know, this has the largest storage capacity. And that is all I have. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Piffy comments down below. And don't forget to run farther to go further in life. Goodbye.